Vermillion is an intimate, character-driven film which delves into the lives of a group of women over one summer. It is a celebration of sisterhood and it shows the whirlwind of organising a wedding mm. and it looks at a complex mother-daughter relationship as well. Kiwi acting royalty Jennifer Ward Leland plays leading lady Darcy and she joins us right now. It is so lovely to have you in the oh, studio. Yes. So it's, like, it's like the Jane Judy, Judy Dench of New Zealand. No, You've I, just I, got that on. aura you know, I'm convinced that these words royalty... Um, uh, uh, venerable, seasoned. Uh, I think it's actually just because I'm old. <laughs> no, I think it's I've been doing it for quite a while. I'm sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. And doing back, it well. Come back from that one, well. Mike. Um, congratulations on the film, first of all. It's beautiful. <laughs> but let's go back a little bit to how it all began for you. How did you mm. actually get into acting? Golly, you were going way back <laughs> yeah. into the time of the dinosaurs. <laughs> um, age seven, my dad took me along to a uh, rehearsals for a show he was in, a Greek tragedy. And, uh, and I walked into that rehearsal room and I knew then and there that that's what I wanted to do. And I went home to mum and said, I'm going to be an actor. And she went, yes, dear. <laughs> she did. She did. And did you have a plan B, just in case? No, I never had wow. a plan B. Good. I didn't know how I was going to do it. I just knew I was going to do it. It wasn't to say that I was, you know, ferociously talented as a young child, but I knew that that's where I was meant to be. And the power of the positivity. You know, I think so. Helps. I think so. I have yeah. had a mm. few of those positive thoughts over the years. <laughs> Making a living as a working actor in New Zealand is really something it quite is, extraordinary. Yeah. Eighty-five to ninety percent of actors are unemployed, and that's not just New Zealand. That's yeah. that's worldwide. So you know, you have to be versatile, and you have to be you know, look at all of the all of the avenues mm. you can you can try and get a job in. Well, let's take a look at this because speaking of you know people that are working in New Zealand, you, there's a incredible team that have put this movie together. Um, we'll just show you a clip first, just so you, you understand it. It's out in a week, but have a look at this. Tell me something about yourself, Darcy. I'm seeing different colours with different notes. It's all changing. Basically, confirm the diagnosis. What have you been thinking about? People. Turns out I haven't loved that many. <laughs> wow, mm. that is so lush. It's a really lush looking movie. So tell us a little bit about the million. So it's set over one summer month? It is. It's really, at the heart of it, it's about female friendships mm. and how they sustain you over the years. And my character is a composer. She has this sort of 27, 28 year old daughter. Uh, there is a friction between them, probably because Darcy has pursued her creativity and, and Luckily, she's had these wonderful girlfriends, played by Teresa Healy and Goretti Chadwick, mm. who've been there to be other mothers for this daughter. But um, Darcy is also a synesthetic. She has synesthesia, which is when two senses uh, come about at the same time. For instance, in Darcy's case, she hears music and she sees colours. And what happens is the colours start changing and her colours um, affect how she, inform how she composes. Mm. When the colours start changing, she realises something's wrong. Hence the name of the movie. Vermilion. Right. A kind and there of are red. Some, there's some other famous um, people that have this... Uh, yes, Lady Gaga. Well. Yeah, yeah uh, OK. Right. Lord. Right. Uh, I think Van Gogh. Wow. Mm -hmm. OK, cool. Wow. So a lot of creatives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, absolutely. And I think it's really shown quite beautifully in this movie because it's a hard thing to, to, to show, isn't it? Seeing colours when you're hearing music. It's done it, quite subtly in this. It's not like suddenly we go into woo woo land. It's just you see her when she's looking out, this sort of kind of a, a disintegration on the screen. Mm -hmm. It's very cleverly done. And, and can I just say, your performance was just absolutely stunning in this movie. It was just incredible. And you were surrounded by some other incredibly talented characters as well, and actors. Can you tell me a bit more about Kilda. the other people in the movie? Well, firstly, I was very lucky that Daughter Schiffman, the director and writer, asked me to play the role because frankly, a role for a woman in her 50s, a lead role in a movie, they, they're hen's teeth. Uh, usually women kind of disappear off the screens at about 40 and reappear at 65 as grandmothers. Mm. Uh, so <laughs> to have a role that was full, uh, to, uh, you know, a, a film that was full of these in mm. incredible roles was a real gift and gave me something to, you know, a character in which I could use all of my life experience in. And uh, I'd worked with all of these wonderful women before, uh, so there was no need to go off to sort of bonding camp. Right. You know, we, we fell into each other's arms very nicely. And uh, Emily, who plays my daughter, is one of our students at the Actors Programme. Oh, excellent. Yes. So it was a really, yeah. really sort of um, 
a beautiful summer that we spent making the movie in Greylin, a contemporary story. I hope that New Zealand women see themselves and their friendships and those incredibly strong bonds. And also, I think one of the themes in is, for any, well, in, in Darcy's case, and you know, in my case as a creative, that pull between um, doing your work, wanting to do the mm. thing that really pulls your heart, and also being a mother. Mm. You know, that yeah, there's many a lot women of, understand that. A lot of this going on. A lot of that going mm. on. And that we do need our friends to help us with that. Mm. And, and that was the beauty too, you know, when you look at perhaps for those that live outside of Auckland, when you look at Grey Lynn, I, I love the way the relationship with the neighbours was played. Because you have a Pacific Island neighbour, Scylla, and she was just brilliant. Yeah. Who played her? Goretti Chadwick. And wasn't that brilliant? Yeah. I, I love that relationship yeah. as well. The way the kids can just come in yeah. and out of the house. Knock on go, doors. Go, tell your mum you're here for dinner tonight. All of that feeling. I love that. That that's actually happens in my neighbourhood. A community. That's nice. Yeah. And Teresa Healy plays your best friend. That's right, yes. And she ends up moving into the house. Because she does. She can. <laughs> your girlfriends can walk into your kitchen. Well, they can. And make things. And they often do. And, and they you, do. You play, you're a composer in this. So yes. we know you can sing because you've done lots of roles where you've sung before. But can you, with the piano playing? Was I was playing the piano because I, I, was, det no, yes. I was determined Gosh, you and Bradley that we didn't have that shot where you're playing the piano, you, you've got a close-up <laughs> on the hands and then suddenly cut to the face. <laughs> but damn it, no. Although I did say, if there's anything that's extremely hard, please just don't shoot that. But I did learn the music that I was playing. It did change somewhat in post-production because lots of things change mm. in post-production. Mm. But everything you see me playing, I'm actually playing to play back. Wow. And, and you know, Darcy's character, she's vulnerable yet strong and there's that conflict that goes on. She's in control but out of control at the mm -hmm. same it's a time. Bit yeah. yeah, and bolshy. Yeah. Yes, you're right. So I would suspect that all of you would have learnt a lot personally from making that movie, did you? Yes, well, what I had to... I knew there would be quite a lot of pressure on me making the movie because it's a lead role mm. and it's not, a, you know, there's not a big budget. So I don't have hours to go away and do my inner preparation. I needed to be able to hook into that feeling of, of, the, of the tension between what she wants to do and what she should do. So I did a lot of work around that, mm. making sure that I was, could, could really hook into that very quickly. And probably just, I don't know, the years I've been on the stage, I'm, I'm able to do that in a very, in a reasonably fast way, fast and deep, if you know what I mean. Mm. Um, so I really used, I used myself because right. I think that's what the actor does. You know, you have to reflect humanity and who better to reflect than your own. No, yeah, so yeah, you too. do a great yeah. job of it too. It's Thank you. So I loved it. I loved it so much. Thank yeah. you. Opens on November the 8th. My birthday. My birthday or your Double birthday. Reason, <laughs> see it. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by. Vermillion will be released as we mentioned in New Zealand cinemas from next Thursday, Jennifer's birthday. Make sure you get along to see it on the big screen. Yeah, beautiful movie and happy birthday as well. Thank okay. You.